What's up y'all and welcome back to another completely random product review. Uh, my name is Adam and today we're going to be reviewing something really different. Um, up until now I've done pretty much mostly just food reviews but today as I mentioned in my last video uh, I'm going to do an ink pen review. This is the ink pen showdown. Uh, we have two ink pens and I'm going to be comparing them. I'm holding some papers here like I'm some kind of reporter doing the news or something. It's very official. But uh, ink pens are something that I take very seriously. You know, laugh at me if you will, but ink pens are important. Um, it's always good to have an ink pen on hand. A lot of people don't carry a pen. But there have been many instances in my life, uh, from school age on up until adulthood to this very day, where a, an ink pen comes in handy. I mean... You know, say you're you're at the park and you meet somebody and, and uh, you know, you don't have your phone with you or whatever. And they give you their phone number and you're like, ah, oh, I don't have anything to write this phone number down on. I got an ink pen. You write it on your hand. And then when you get to your phone, you can, uh, you know, put it in there. Or, you know, let's say you're, you're out at the coffee shop and you see, like, Will Smith. And you're like, oh, man, I'd love to have his autograph. And I don't have an ink pen. And then, you know, you turn to your friend and he's like, oh, I got an ink pen. You can get Will Smith's autograph or Charlie Sheen or somebody. I don't know. Uh, say you're at work and, you know, they don't let you have your cell phones out because that's a rule they have at a lot of places. You Maybe you need an ink pen. So you never know when you're going to use an ink pen. Um, in, in a world that is increasingly digital and, uh, you know, mobile, you know, mobile phones and, and, and laptop computers and everything, Ink pens are not as necessary as they once were, but I still feel very strongly that, you know, you should have an ink pen. Just, just, it, it doesn't take any space in your pocket. You know, it's, it's, it's just, it, they don't cost that much. It's an ink pen. Just carry an ink pen. You never know when you're going to need it. Um, so anyway, today I have two brands of ink pen. I have the G2 Premium Gel Roller from Pilot which is a pen that I have used off and on for a long time. And then I've got a competitor, and I call it a competitor because it's the same price at the store. I paid $2.74 for a two-pack of each of these. This is the Uniball Signo. Um, I would say that it's, it's comparable to the G2 when, when, you know, when you're going to compare two ink pens, this is a good way to go. Uh, I like to have a 0.7 millimeter uh, tip on my ink pens. Uh, I find that 0.5 is just too narrow and a one millimeter just it smudges too much you know. Um, now this is not a ballpoint pen review this is a gel ink review, gel ink pen review. Uh, I like gel ink pens I like how they're smooth um, I like how they dry fast and, and I just I just prefer to write with a gel ink pen. Um, that said sometimes gel ink, gel ink pens can can bleed and smudge and sometimes the ink can take a while to dry. Uh, so I'm going to compare these two ink pens and I'm going to I'm going to run through a battery of tests with you. Uh, I've tested these as thoroughly as I can uh, here at home with just a few sheets of paper. You know, I'm sure that the quality control departments at these ink pen factories probably have more thorough and reliable testing methods, but this is this is what I do. So I'll show you some some comparisons with these two pens. But let's start with the Pilot G2. Um, the Pilot G2 and I, we go way back. Um, in many ways, the, the Pilot G2 was, was my first serious ink pen. Um, you know, we met several years ago on the job, and, uh, you know, I needed a reliable ink pen, and I, I picked up the Pilot G2. Uh, I enjoyed how it has the, uh, it's got the pocket clip on it, and it's a clicker pen, you know, it doesn't have a cap, so I can just hook it on my pocket. And, and it's ready to go. That's the kind of pen I prefer. But anyway, the Pilot G2, uh, you know, things were going really well for a while, got pretty serious. You know, it was exclusive for a while, the Pilot G2 and I. You know, this was the only pen that I carried. I carried a black Pilot G2, 0.7 millimeter, and it was everything I needed. And, uh, you know, everything was going really well, and I, I got to the point where I think I maybe even got a little complacent in our relationship because I just kind of took it for granted. And then dark times came. Uh, I bought a package of Pilot G2s. It was just a standard replacement, you know. It was just a normal day. I didn't, didn't think anything of it. And then I started using my pen at work. And you have to forgive me if I get a little emotional, a little upset. My pen started smudging and bleeding. 
uh, I was writing on some papers at work and, and, and the ink wasn't drying very fast and I was getting little blobs of ink and, and I started to question my relationship with the Pilot G2. Uh, I started to say, you know, do I, really, do I really love the G2 or do I just love the idea of the G2? Uh, and, and I had to make a hard decision at that point. And, uh, you know, I said, I'm going to give the Pilot a second chance. So I took that package of pens, put it away in the drawer. I uh, went to the store, bought another package, identical Pilot G2 0.7 millimeter black the old standby and I got the pens out and I gave them a trial run I said I'm gonna give them I'm gonna give them a couple of days of work ran them through some tests and then I started getting ink blobs and the smudges and, and it became very clear to me at that point that you know I, I wasn't gonna change the Pilot G2 uh, you know it, it is what it is and I have to accept that and we had to part ways uh, so I, I, I went through some other pens, you know, uh, nothing ever really lasted though. Uh, I was really disappointed, I was kind of broken hearted over the, the, the split. Um, I tried a number of pens, I tried, tried the Uniball Signo, uh, I tried most recently the Bic Gelosity, which is not officially a part of this review, but as you can see by the pro broken pocket clip, need I say more? That's the second one that did this. So I decided, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to the Pilot G2. I'm going to give it another try. But this time, I'm going to be sure. I'm going to be absolutely certain this is the pen for me. So I ran through a battery of tests. Um, I compared these two pens side by side. In every test, the Pilot G2 will be first, followed by the Uniball Signo. And uh, I've got to tell you, the results are, uh, are interesting, to say the least. The first, first test that I did is what I just called the straight line test. And uh, as you can see, I just I drew a straight line on a piece of paper. And as soon as I finished the straight line, I ran my finger across the line of ink to see if it smudged. And the first one up here is the, uni is the, uh, the, the pilot. And as you can see, at the end, um, the line smudged because there was a blob of ink. Then I did the Uniball Signo, and uh, I got a straight line. Well, it's not really straight, but I got a line and I ran my finger across it and I got no smudges. So that's a strike against the uh, Pilot G2. It's beginning to look like it hasn't changed at all. Then I did what I call the back and forth squiggly line test, I guess, I don't know, where I tried to draw a continuous line on a piece of paper for, for quite some time to check and see uh, the consistency of the ink you know, distribution, to see if the ink was coming out in a smooth line. And with the, uh, with the Pilot G2, uh, I got one, two, three, four, five, wow, now that I'm looking, five noticeable uh, blobs of ink where the ink got a little, a little overzealous and, uh, and it came out too quickly. And, you know, whenever you get a blob of ink, it takes forever to dry, so I kind of smudged it with my fingers, and, and one of them smudged significantly. Uh, I was disappointed with the G2 again. Did the same test with the Uniball Signo. Uh, did the squiggly line back and forth test, and I got one significant blob of ink that, that was kind of sticking out. Uh, it's pretty big, bigger than any of them that were on the, uh, the, the, the G2, but it was just one smudge, which shows me that uh, there's more consistency with the, the ink release from the pen on the Uniball Signo. And you know, as much as I hated to admit it, at this point it was starting to become pretty clear to me that the Uniball Signo was, uh, was gaining. Uh, the next test I did is that I just wrote the name of this channel, Completely Random Product Reviews, with a decorative squiggle beneath, just to see, again, if it was consistent when I was writing. Um, I wrote in kind of a hurried fashion uh, to kind of mimic, you know, when you're, when you're maybe, you know, I need my pen, i got to write something, and I hope it's reliable, you know. So I wrote completely random product reviews with, with the, uh, the G2, and then I wrote it again with the, with the uh, Uniball Signo. And, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to really compare the two differently because my handwriting is really messy anyway, but they both performed well in this test. Uh, I did get a, a smudge in the line, a blob of ink in the Uniball Signo portion of that test. Um, Another test that I did was I just wrote the name of the pen. And uh, then after I finished writing the name of the pen, I ran my finger across the words to see if it smudged. Now this one's interesting. This one is a big strike against Pilot. 
Uh, the Pilot G2, I wrote Pilot G2, as you can see. And then, I didn't smudge it yet. Then, I wrote Uniball Signo. After writing Uniball Signo, mind you, some time had passed since I'd written Pilot G2. I ran my finger and I got a significant smudge on the top left corner of the P in Pilot. Uh, then I ran my fingers across Uniball Signo, which had had significantly shorter drying time, if you ask me, and I didn't get any smudges. Um, really disappointing. Uh, that, that Pilot G2, those words had extra time to dry, and they still failed that test. So it appears to me that whatever issue the Pilot is having with these G2 pens that cropped up several months ago, that didn't used to happen years ago, mind you, is still happening. So uh, this is the third package of Pilot pens that I bought that have done this, um, the same problem. And then the last test that I did is called the a scientific name here. It's called the color in a little black section of the paper and then try to smudge it. Um, this is a highly technical, very, very scientific test that I did. And uh, as you can see, um, the Pilot G2, I colored in a little spot on the page and I tried to smudge it and it smudged a bit. And then I did the same with the Uniball and it did not smudge at all. Now it is worth noting that the pilot had darker black ink. It was a it was a truer black ink. The uh, the Signo, when I look at it, it was a little a little grayer, maybe a little lighter. It wasn't as as bold black. Um, so through this battery of tests that I ran, I have to clearly go with the Uniball Signo pen. Um, I didn't want to. But, you know, if I'm really being honest with myself, I got to go with, with the more reliable pen. And, uh, again, these were both equally priced. Um, the, the, the G2 claims to have a proven, number one, longest writing versus average of top gel ink brands. Uh, that's something that they brag about on the front. Claim, claim that it has a comfort grip. The Uniball, their big claim to fame on the front is three-way protection against water fading and fraud. It's got super ink, and uh, they don't brag about the grip on it. So I, I'm gonna tell you what. I get really, I get really detailed with these pens. The reason that I like the Pilot G2, the reason I held onto it for so long, was that this little pocket clip is very durable. I've never had one break, and I mean that's with me taking that thing out of my pocket, and putting it back in, many, many times over the course of a shift at work. I like the uh, the rubber grip on this pen. I just I like the style of it. Uh, I like the fact that there isn't really any metal on the outside of this pen. It's just it's standard. It's plastic. The clip is one piece. Uh, it's a solid pen, but it the ink is blobbing, and and that's just something that I can't have, you know. Uh, now the Uniball Signo, though the pen is better performance wise, there there's some issues that I have with it. Uh, I don't care for the metal tip. I don't. I don't know why. I just don't. I like. Maybe it's just that I like that you can see the spring through the plastic tip on this one. It's kind of cool. I don't know. Um, but my big issue with this one is is the clip. Uh, the clip is a, is a two piece clip. It's plastic and metal, which is just unnecessary. You know, there's no reason to have two pieces. I guess they thought it looked a little cooler. But what I find happening with this pen after repeated use is that the, the metal clip. Is attached to a piece of plastic which is part of the barrel. The uh, the metal clip that is stuck to the plastic starts to get loose after a while and it's just one of those things that's kind of irritating. It's not a big problem. Uh, practically speaking it doesn't really affect the performance of the pen. I just don't care for it. Um, I'm wondering now maybe I could take the ink cartridge out of the Signo and put it in the pilot barrel. This is probably highly unethical uh, if you're a pilot company person, but we're gonna try it out and see what happens. It appears to me that the pen functions. Let's, let's find out if it writes. It writes, it fits, everything goes back together well. I think I just had a breakthrough. This is revolutionary. Um, I know you can buy G2 replacement uh, refills, which is awesome because the pen barrel is incredibly durable. Never had one break on me. I don't know if you can buy Uniball replacements. Uh, it doesn't say anything on the package about it, but I'll tell you what. 
I would be willing to buy Uniball Signo pens, take the ink cartridge out, and put it in the G2 barrel uh, as some kind of bastard hybrid ink pen. But, you know, when it comes down to it, it's all about what works for me, and that works for me. So uh, maybe I'll just hang on to these G2 barrels. It'll be kind of like a wolf in sheep's clothing. It'll be the, it'll be the Uniball and Pilot clothing. Um, and I think maybe that's... I've had this breakthrough here on the channel live, like while I'm recording. This is, an, this is amazing. This is not something that I planned as part of the review. Uh, anybody who's watching, you are part of a, an historic event right now. This is a special occasion. I have figured out the solution to my problem. I can still do the G2 without having to mess with the crappy ink distribution and, and the slow drying and the blobs. This is amazing. Um, I'm glad that you were with me on this, this historic occasion. This is, this is huge for me. Uh, as I said, ink pens, I'm, I'm passionate about these things. And this is, this is great. This is great. I, I, couldn't, be more, I couldn't be more tickled. Um, I should have mentioned at the beginning of the video, but I forgot. Uh, we don't have any music today because I didn't need any distractions. I didn't want any distractions. Uh, I, this is something I take seriously, these, this ink pen business. you know, This is not a musical occasion. This is get down to business and test this stuff out. So, uh, I guess I've just kind of skewed my whole review process here, but I'll tell you what, as far as ink performance, as far as, as pen performance goes, uh, I would choose the Uniball over the G2. Um, I'm going to give the G2 out of 10 stars, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a five and a half, and that's a pretty low score because it all comes down to performance. Um, you know, the, 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 the pocket clip, the the spring mechanism, all that stuff is important, but what really matters is the pen, because without the ink distribution, you, you just got a plastic stick. I am going to give the Uniball Signo, uh, out of 10 stars, I'm, I'm going to give it a 7.5. It's going to get a set, it gets a full two points higher than the G2, so take that pilot, listen, you know, whatever you got going on with your ink, do some tests, find out what the problem is, call me, let me know you got it fixed so I can quit. Mixing and matching my ink pens, so uh, yeah, I, I choose the Uniball over it. I, I think that I think it's a better pen. It's a better performing ink pen. Uh, carry a pen with you. You know the Boy Scouts always tell you be prepared. You know maybe have a pocket knife on you or whatever. You always want to have some pocket change maybe in case you need a soda. Uh, if you're a young bachelor, you always carry a condom in your pocket. I don't know. Women always carry their tampons. Me, always got a Pilot G2 or some other pen. I'm happy, I'm happy to say that I can have the Pilot G2 again. I'm ecstatic. And uh, I want to thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you'll be so kind. Uh, spread the word. I'm trying to get this channel off the ground. I'd like to get some more subscribers and, uh, you know, share my thoughts with people. So thanks for watching. Uh, go pick yourself up an ink pen so you're always prepared because you never know when Will Smith's going to be around for an autograph. Peace out.